Hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be wrapping up the third gen Forerunner front end job. I already did this, I already did the Tundra brake upgrade and I replaced the lower ball joints. And you could check out that video by clicking on the link above. Now to wrap up, I need to bleed the brakes, but I'm not just going to bleed the brakes. I'm going to actually flush the brake system. So the, what I'm going to be using to do that is a trusty turkey baster that I picked up at the local grocery store to take the fluid out of the master cylinder. I'm going to be using this all-star performance uh, one person brake bleeder, which is just a bottle with a hose and a check valve. So we're going to test this out to see how it works. And then of course we've got some new dot four brake fluid. So let's get started. The first step is to extract as much brake fluid out of the master cylinder as possible. As I mentioned, I'm going to be using a turkey baster. Now there are other tools that you can use to remove the brake fluid from the master cylinder, but I'm going to be using this turkey baster because that's what I have available and it was locally available to me at the, at the grocery store. After I got out as much brake fluid as I could, I'm going to be topping off the master cylinder with some new DOT4 brake fluid. And then we'll be flushing the rest of the fluid, hopefully, through the brake lines. You always want to start bleeding the brakes the farthest wheel from the master cylinder. So on the Forerunner, it is the right rear. So that's where we're heading. Okay, so I'm gonna get my 10 millimeter here on this bleeder valve. Hook the hose on this one person bleeder bottle onto the bleeder valve. Okay, it's on there. Okay, next I loosen up this bleeder valve. Oh my god, of course it's hard as f This bleeder valve is kind of is being a pain, so I guess that's the joys of living in the Northeast. I already have the truck jacked up, so I'm going to pop the back tire off and try to get at that bleeder valve a little easier. There we go. So now I'm in the cab of the Forerunner and pumping the brakes slowly, depressing the brake pedal all the way to the floor and slowly bringing it back. I'm really wanting to extract as much of that old fluid through the brake lines as possible. Now 
now that I feel I've extracted enough brake fluid through those lines, I'll go ahead and uh, take the bottle off, tighten up the bleeder valve, and then get ready for the next side. So now I'm on the driver's side rear. I know this one's going to be a little bit easier. I had to replace the axle on this side. So I've got a brand new bleeder, brand new brake line. So this one should be much easier and hopefully I can do it without taking the wheel off. Before I go any further, I'll go ahead and top off the master cylinder to make sure that it doesn't run dry. And then I'll follow the process of just slowly pumping the brakes and running the fluid through the brake lines and uh, you know flushing the system and bleeding the brakes at the same time. Just working my way around the vehicle. Got the back done. Um, let the fluid flush out of those those back drums. Now I'm working on the on the new Tundra calipers. Once again, topping off the master cylinder before I move on to the next wheel. Okay, now on the driver's side, just going to repeat the process. Put the hose on a bleeder valve. Open the valve up. Now I'll go pump the brakes. Now, I'll close the bleeder valve. Okay, now that I've done with the flush and the bleed, now it's time to uh, top off the master cylinder. Get it at the level that we need it. With the brake flush complete, Now's the time to get the wheels on and get this thing off the jack stands. Not a very complicated process and one that I was able to do on my own. First off, using the turkey baster to, to extract as much fluid out of the master cylinder as possible. Uh, I know there's other tools out there, some like syringes or some even some, some vacuums that you can get to empty your master cylinder, but this cost two bucks and I was able to get it at the uh, local grocery store, so super easy. Now, as far as the 
one person brake bleeder from, from All Star Performance, I think this thing worked pretty well. I didn't have to get in and out of the truck a bunch of times to do uh, the brake flush. I actually went through the process a couple times. Um, I did it the first time, drove it around, um, you know, let things work its way out, and then I went ahead and, and bled the brakes again. So this thing worked really well and uh, well worth the $20 investment. As always, I hope you found this content useful. If you like these kind of videos, um, consider subscribing to my channel as that will incentivize me to create additional content. Thanks and we'll see you next time.